Today, we are going to be going through how to install FFmpeg. So if you go through my videos, you're probably wondering, Mr. YouTube guy, this has absolutely nothing to do with streaming. Don't worry, I'm gonna be referencing this video in a future video and potentially more than one video. So if you don't know what FFmpeg is, FFmpeg is basically a command line utility used for processing and encoding video and audio. If you've ever used Handbrake before, it's basically using FFmpeg as a backend and then throwing a graphical user interface on top of it. Now, many of you have probably never used a command line before. Don't worry, it's super simple. And there's a lot of documentation online for any problem you might have. And once you get used to it, using FFmpeg on a command line is much quicker and has a lot more options than just using Handbrake. Okay, so I'm wasting your time. Let's jump to the desktop and then I'll show you how to install everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is check if we even have FFmpeg installed at all. So we're gonna open up a command line window by going into the start menu and just typing CMD. And then you just wanna type in FFmpeg and hit enter. Now if you get this message that says FFmpeg is not recognized, you do not have FFmpeg installed. So if that's the case, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to FFmpeg.org. I'll leave a link for that in the description. And you just wanna hit this big green download button here. Under where it says get packages, if you're using Linux, you already know what you're doing. If you're using a Mac, then God help you. I'm assuming you're using Windows. Go into Windows here, click Windows Builds, and just select Download Build. Now you should download a zip file, so just open it up and go into the one folder that's in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our C drive and create a new folder called FFmpeg. And then just drag the contents of that zip file into the new folder we just created. So once you've done that, go into the folder and then go into the bin folder. And then we're just gonna copy the directory of this folder. And then we're gonna right click this PC, go to properties, advanced system settings, environment variables. And then this bottom part where it says system variables, scroll down until you see path and click edit. And then we're just gonna create a new entry here and paste the directory of that bin folder. Press okay, okay, okay. Then we're gonna go back, open up command line again, and then type in FFmpeg. Now, if you get a whole bunch of information showing up here, you have FFmpeg installed and you're good to go. And that is basically it. So we're gonna be using this video in a future video. And like I said, maybe more videos. Hopefully that helped you guys. If you guys have any more questions, leave a comment, join the Discord, and I will see you next video.